Now today's topic is isotopes. So what are isotopes? So I do so uh, what are isotopes? Yes, yes, yes. A species having same atomic number, same atomic number, but different atomic mass are called isotopes. For example, hydrogen has three isotopes. Now, first one is 1H1. It is called protium. Second one is 1H2. That is called deuterium. And third one is 1H3. That is called tritium. Another example of isotopes carbon. Carbon has also three isotopes. Now, first one is 6 carbon 12, second one is 6 carbon 13, and last one is 6 carbon 14. Now, 6 carbon 14 isotope of carbon that is radio. Active. Same as oxygen. Oxygen have also three isotopes. O eight sixteen, O eight seventeen, and O eight eighteen. Chlorine has two isotopes. Chlorine 17, 35, and second one is chlorine 17, 37. Uranium has also two isotopes. Uranium 92, 235, and uranium 92, 237. Okay, now formation of isotopes. Formation of isotopes. So how we formed isotopes? Now first method is now first method is when one neutron enters in an atom, then isotope is formed. For example, Uranium 92-235 When we add one neutron, neutron is represented by the 0 and 1 and after addition of neutron mass number remains same but atomic mass increase one unit so it become 236 now look at here here atomic number 92, 92 and atomic mass 35 and 236. Now when atomic number is same then element are isotopes. So uranium 235 has one uh, uranium, uh, uranium I'm sorry. Now second method when one alpha particles and two beta and two beta particles release two beta particles released in an atom then isotope formed for example we take uranium atomic number is 92 and atomic mass is 235 when one alpha particle released from it so negative sign it shows the releasing of alpha particles alpha particle we can represent it by the two he 
4. After releasing the alpha particles, mass number reduced 2 units and sorry. After releasing the alpha particles, atomic number reduced 2 unit and mass number reduced 4 unit. So here is atomic number is become 90 and atomic mass become 231 and 90 atomic number is the <coughs> element is thorium and after releasing one beta particles so beta particle represented by the minus one beta zero after re releasing one beta particles then atomic number increase one unit and atomic mass remains same so atomic mass remains 231 and atomic number 91 that is protactinium and after releasing one more alpha particles releasing sign is negative and beta particle represented by beta minus 1 beta 0 so atomic number increased by one unit so it become 92 and atomic mass remains same so it become 231 so here is atomic number same 92 and initial substance we take uranium 92 and 235 so atomic number are the same then both are the isotopes each other characteristics of of isotopes now first characteristics isotope isotopic element have same number of proton and electrons protons and electrons but they have different number of neutrons because of atomic number so proton number and electron number so atomic number are the same then proton number and electron number are the same now second properties of isotope isotope of one element have same chemical properties because they possess because they possess equal number of electrons now third properties isotope of one element have different physical properties because they possess different mass number now fourth characteristics isotopic element cannot be separated by chemical method they can separate it only by the physical now fifth properties due to presence of isotope atomic mass of an atom comes fractional.